Okay, welcome back, Transformer TCG fans. This is Grillenheimer. Um, I'm in between stores. I've got some cold stuff in the car. Um, need to get some more cold stuff. But okay, I, I had I did that quick uh, little video, and I basically introduced one card. Uh, well, I had already done pile, like I said, uh, fixed pile driver and deployed or not, so it shows D counter um because matt corbett i think aka metaphor uh from youtube discord etc um because from the art cards they had a card and he showed it back up on the arts page of facebook you know with a challenge you know use these cards in the deck kind of thing and i was looking at it i'm like oh crap he has this called something and all mine I just called counters uh, and originally the deployed or not and the KO'd and the pile driver and all that were all in my KO'd set about 33 cards well and I'm pretty sure we finished through all those and well I made about 40 more battle cards over the weekend I said that already um, and what we're what I'm what we're doing is they're not all this they they don't all deal with these D counters uh, and it was originally called destructive counter was the action card blue green so you can always get them back on the flip to try to get counters on your upgrades uh, and so pile driver is not so well it's still exclusive it can only be put on uh, Decepticon mini cassettes okay so yes a um, oh gosh we have what three four mini cassettes that came in the uh, Soundwave blaster pack uh, so there's that but okay let's look at maybe four maybe we have a, a, a four cards here um, some are pretty idiomatic. Some are pretty specialized on who it can go on, but I tried not to do that. Uh, so let's look at Hot Rod's Dual Bow, which is a blue pip card, because um, I don't like the Cybertronium bow. It's hard to pull off, et cetera, et cetera. A lot of people didn't like it, and I think it's from Wave 1. Um, and, and, and I found this picture from Animated, which fits, uh, and I called it Hot Rod's Bow, just like we have the Agility of Bumblebee. Iron ha Ironhide has his own, um, the, the laser, his own laser gun. Optimus has his own blaster. Uh, Op Megatron has his own cannon uh, gun. And I'm trying to make some more weapons that are, like, spe specifically for certain characters. But this doesn't just go in Hot Rod only. Anybody can wear this dual bow. Uh, and what it does is you're, you're wanting to get, it's a weapon upgrade that you want to get D counters on. Uh, it does give plus two to attack, which is kind of the norm for a blue weapon card. Okay. Um, I'm sorry I'm out and about in the dark doing this. Uh, but the counters, each D counter is going to give by one. You can only have a max of three. So it's a nice or an interesting play for a weapon that has an attack of two that you can get a bold three from by trying to get counters on it. Deployed or not can work because it's still a weapon, but the destructive counter action card is probably what you're going to want here. We're going to get into that uh, little a little bit here as well it does give one pierce to hot rod because i didn't want to overdo this card it already had a lot going for it being a bow having the d counters on this giving it bold pin pierce one to hot rod as well as the attack the normal attack plus two if it doesn't have any d counters on it etc etc so we have that um now the welding welding gun is a black pip card that will give pierce now, this one's a little different than the dual bow. The dual bow can stay on the character. The welding gun, if you can get five D counters on it, 
you can get up to a max of Pierce 5. Uh, but only thing is, is once after you attack, with, with it basically maxed out, it has to be scrapped. Um, so you don't have to max it out. You, uh, you can get more than the Pierce 3 of, say, a fusion bore, but the welding gun does not have an attack. It only gives Pierce. Um, and I know we have a, a few old cards that do something similar. But with this, you can get up to a max of 5 from a weapon that doesn't give an attack, that does not have an attack value on it. So you're going to have to have, uh, be great for bigger characters that are like 10 stars and more with some bold um, well, may not be not bold but something like whoa like brass knuckles on your utility side um, have the welding going on here etc cetera, etc cetera. and you know what as long as you can you know you may want to get up to maybe pierce four on here as long as it doesn't get vaporized or knocked off or anything else to that effect so that's welding gun and that is from beast wars when rat trap was trying to cut a hole on the uh, tin can of R ravages ship uh, just you know agenda part three just or two yeah uh, I, I, yeah agenda part three i think that's right uh, just classic, just classic. Now, Mouth Blaster. Mouth Blaster was originally going to be Trypticon only. Then I changed it. So let's look at this. Mouth Blaster is also a black pip card. I might change that. All None of these have green pips on them. None of these are, have two colored pips on them. They're very simple cards, uh, pip color wise. Uh, Mouth Blaster will get bold but only a max of bolt two. It does have, when it's on a Titan, it get will give a Titan pierce two. So it's bold two, up to bold two, pierce two. Uh, when it's on, when you put this on Trypticon, it is the mouth of Trypticon from the, um, the series they made with the Combiner War characters that I can never remember. Um, because it was so hard to watch online, online, um, you know, and I did watch it all. I, I, I call it the, I don't know, the, the, the whiny windblade trilogy, but it wasn't bad for what it was, but everything just went slow. Um, but that's where this picture is. Trypticon had gone super saiyan or whatever, and his mouth is open. You can just barely see the, the teeth on the bottom of the mouth. Uh, and so it's called Mouth Blaster. It's only going to bolt max of bolt two. Do we want to go bolt three? Let me you know your input. We can change this. Uh, but I like this idea. Um, and each time you put it on Trypticon, you can scrap an enemy upgrade. Uh, the, the last one for tonight, only four cards. So sorry. So much more to go through. Uh, mega charge. Mega charge is going to be okay. The uh, destructive. What did I call it? Destructive counter. I don't have this stuff in front of me. Um, destructive counter, and because that's the action card that is blue green, you can get that on the flip. Well, mega charge is orange, no green. You cannot get this on the flip because what does it do? It allows you to put two D counters. On any upgrade uh, so yeah we have more coming um, I've got I know I have at least an, a few more weapons another armor I'm not sure I might have a utility coming also that can utilize D counters deployed or not can only put um, counters on a weapon uh, that card was specifically made for mini cassettes but anybody can use that secret action um, just wanted to go a different route with the game. Uh, I I mean, we've seen some people do this. Uh, I just think this will be a neat variation. Uh, so with that, like I said, I got cold stuff in the car. Um, so we got to go over, you know, finally introduced the video before this, um, the action card that started this all. Well, actually that was deployed or not in Piledriver, but destructive counter, blue green 
and we got our the hot rod dual bow uh, which is a, a blue weapon that, that gives two to attack and is you get to be able to get a max of bold three on it since the my, I wanted to keep the max of bold low so you didn't have to scrap it um, and that with welding gun it's just the opposite you can get a, a, a max pierce of up to five it does not have a base attack on here uh, but once you get up to that maximum of five and you attack you have to scrap the welding gun uh, mouth blaster is uh, a, 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 also a black weapon you can put it on triptychon uh, then you can scrap an enemy upgrade but it can go on anybody I believe uh, yeah black pip gives up up to a max of bold two with D counters um, and when it's on a Titan it also adds pierce two pierce two bold two with that possibility would you want to try this um and mix up your game a little bit maybe um we, you will see some tough coming up and uh, might try to stir stir the pot a little bit too but i have made so many guards i don't i don't know where i'm going to find the time to record all this I just really like being at my desk and it's just right there on the screen, you know. Uh, so I apologize for the <laughs> the the Turing, Turing version of Transformers the TCG with Grillenheimer. So with that, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. And as always, have not just a great day, but a blessed day. And as always, hmm, what should I do? Um... Did you? Ah, oh, my crazed crustacean. Do you know what this means? Well, that wasn't that great. <laughs>